hello and welcome to the first video of 2022 and i think it's my first like official video in the apartment i kind of have organized a little bit you know you can kind of see my bootleg tv stand back there <laughs> my two little ottomans are sitting right there holding it up and you know just kind of getting things together but we're back i feel a little bit refreshed a little bit better you know still kind of recovering my stomach's still a little sensitive and whatnot but i'm excited to be filming today i think we're going to be doing like a day in the life just super lax super chill and we have a sponsor for today's video this part of the video is sponsored by nap loungewear i am wearing some of their pieces right now they are a very casual, high quality loungewear brand that has like really good staple, simple pieces. I picked out a few items. So first I'm wearing this long sleeve, kind of like tunic style top. You could wear this with like leggings or biker shorts, something like that. But I wore it as a set today just to be super comfy, cozy. You don't even have to think about it because everything's already kind of together it is like a knit very cozy cozy material i decided to tuck mine in a little bit and just kind of wear it you know sideways like this but you could untuck it if you want to and again you can wear these separately like these pants i would even rock with a bodysuit and then the top i would rock with like leggings and some sneakers so i'm going to show you a few more items i got pretty much the same set just in like different colors and then i have a coat from them too here's the set in black i think i kind of like this one a little bit better looks more chic and just more effortless same fabric and material knit and ribbed not knit it's like uh well isn't it it's more like a i guess like ribbed kind of fabric and then the pants are pretty long i'm five seven and i have them right below my belly button there and they hit to pretty much to the floor and the pants even i would wear with a bodysuit and some heels like some pumps and you'll be comfortable and warm usually what i will do with stuff like this pants like this is right now when it's a little bit more cold i will wear a pair of leggings underneath the pants and then you can wear heels and a bodysuit and you're gonna be warm but you're gonna look cute and people won't even be able to tell that you have leggings underneath for extra warmth so that's just like a little tip right there here is the last color in this one that i have and then i'm going to show you the coat so this is more of a mocha just neutral really nice brown it is literally like just neutral it's not too warm not too dark it's just the perfect brown so again you can wear it tucked in if you want or tucked out and then the pants are exactly the same they're nice and flowy i feel like i need to find a better spot for like my mirror <laughs> but they're nice and flowy i also kind of like this one too i would say this one and the black one are probably like top two for me okay this jacket is gonna keep you all the way warm so i have a size small in this one i believe and with this one you can for sure for sure for sure size true to size or size down because it is pretty oversized but this feels like a wool blanket as a coat literally it feels super soft the material is very flexible you can kind of see up close to how soft it is and it does have more of like a blanket like material this one i would probably wear it just open and then wear a cute outfit underneath probably not something like this but you know like a cute outfit underneath and wear it a little bit more free flowing and then it does have these tabs on the inside that you can um because there's a button there's buttons in here that you can pull it up and you can wear the sleeves a little bit more like scrunched if you want to i think they had this one in other colors they had it like in an orangey brown and they also had it in black black would be a really really good color to have in this coat as like a staple so that is the coat i will link all of the items that i showed down below in the description box so you guys can shop look at the website get yourself a few cute high quality basics I'm currently on my way to living spaces. I'm gonna go see if I can find some furniture so I can replace some stuff. So one of my things this time around is I'm trying to get a new couch. I've had that couch now, I think we had gotten it in 2019, if I'm not mistaken. 
and so I've had it for like two-ish years or so and although it's still like I could still keep it it's already getting dirty and kind of like worn down looking and I was thinking about getting it just like you know clean and then just sticking with it but I was like no I want something kind of similar just a little bit of a different shade maybe a little bit less yellowy the thing though that i know i'm gonna have a hard time with is finding the right fabric for that because you know obviously cream and light colored couches are hard to clean and so i want to find something that is functional but still the style that i want and the color that i want so i'm gonna go to living space to see what i can find the last time that i went like they actually had some pretty good stuff and then the other thing I want to do is get my TV stand, but TV stand that I want is backordered right now. So I'm trying to hold off and see when it'll say that it's going to ship and then that way I can order it because I don't want it because it says you could order it now and then they'll ship it as soon as it's back in stock, but it doesn't give you a date. So it's like, what if it's not back in stock until like September? Like, I'm not about to buy it. I'm going to get something else, you know, that will come a little bit earlier. So that those two are my main main things that i'm like i want to get those asap and then i already took the christmas tree down so i can kind of, depending on what couch i get i can kind of rearrange some stuff and see if i can fit a desk somewhere in there now that i'm moved in here and like all my stuff is in here and the furniture is in there and everything i'm like shoot i just wish i would have the thing i didn't want to do was get a two bedroom there off the jump because they're expensive but I'm like oh, I should have just done it it would have been worth it anyways to have like an office space but luckily I don't film as many like sit down makeup videos anymore but still like not having an office space separate from my bedroom separate from the living room is a big big difference and I haven't had that dynamic since I lived back at home and and I don't really love it because I like having my workspace separate from my living space and my bedroom space so do not be surprised <laughs> if in six months from now when I can uh, transfer over to a larger unit I do so because I mean I won't do I probably won't do like a full-on apartment tour at that point like an empty one I'll probably just move in and then do a furnished one but I am feeling like I need an office space now especially that I'm in there um, and then also to it kind of creates a different dynamic for me because I work from home so having a separate little office space is like okay I, I come into this room and this is my work room this is where I get stuff done and then I walk out of there and it's my living space you know what I mean like if you work from home you know what I'm talking about I'm thinking of maybe getting like a foldable desk that I can bring out whenever I film or whenever I do my makeup or when I need it and then I can fold it up and put it away that's another thing too that I'm finding myself doing a lot in this space is downsizing a lot of what I have which I'm not mad at because I'm really only keeping stuff that I really really use when it comes to my makeup when it comes to my clothes and all of that stuff and then I do have like a little storage bin not a storage bin a storage unit and I store all of my figure stuff my Christmas tree and all of that's in there so I'm trying to just now get to the organizing part and putting things where they make sense for the space because when you move to a new space you think that you could just transfer everything over there and then just put it in a similar spot and you're good to go but that is not the way that it works okay the shelves and the cabinets aren't the same size so you have to rearrange or switch things or get new organization stuff so that's kind of what I'm working on right now just reordering some organizing stuff I haven't done a whole lot but like the bathroom shelves I put up I ordered some pump dispensers for my shampoo my conditioner so I can make that cute the goal in this space is a little like a little mix of chic luxe with minimalism not too minimalistic I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys that I'm gonna you know only like have a few things here and there and like super minimize everything but 
I just want a really clean, luxe feeling space that has the things that I really, really love and need. So that's the goal. See, I kind of like something like this couch. It's pretty deep set. And the color is nice. I really like this. It's like a tan brown. And then the fabric is more of a rough fabric which feels kind of like a performance fabric so and it's this one right here i don't know i'm kind of digging it a little bit and then there's these side chairs too there's this one too That I like. Um, that's the brand, but it's a, it's still a little more yellow. But I like this more. It's more structured, but you can see like how it looks when it gets dirty. And that's how mine looks right now. too but I don't know but I like that it's a sofa and not a sectional see the TV set that I want is like this but it wouldn't have drawers it would have like cabinets instead but the tone and the size is perfect okay I kind of like this as a TV stand but I can't tell if it's like pulling too much glam I don't know I can't tell not like 100 100 if it was flush to the ground without the legs i think so okay not much luck to be honest i did see a few couches that had potential like that very first one i'm looking at the picture right now maybe but it's a little bit more traditional slash industrial because of the legs i'm talking about this one right here so I want something modern that is flush with the ground like it doesn't have high legs and it's not like high off the ground but that's also tall enough because I don't want anything that's like when you sit down you feel like you're on the floor I want it to have some height I'll probably just keep looking see what I can find they actually had a perfect one in their outlet section but the color I do want to go to Restoration Hardware Outlet to see what I can find. Not today because I'm actually going to go to my grandma's today and then I have to still go to the, I think maybe the grocery store. Got out of my therapy session and it felt so good to be back. I don't think I've ever told you guys but I started therapy a while, going to therapy a while ago, like therapy counseling and stuff like that and um, over the holidays and stuff and with the movie and everything. Like, I'll take a little break, take a little pause, and then come back once I'm like settled and everything. And plus, the place that I go to, or that I was, or yeah, that I'm going to, before I would have to drive out to go, but now it's closer. We kind of talked about like, you know, the different emotions and feelings that one experiences when going through transitional phases in life. It was just like a breath of fresh air because I cannot even lie to you guys, the past week has definitely been an emotional roller coaster because of the fact that I moved, I was sick. Also where I'm at, it's an, I told you guys that it's a new build, so it's kind of like empty. And I was telling her, it kind of gives me like, abandoned hotel vibes and I don't want to feel that way in my home obviously and so I've had a hard time because I was sick and then I was home and I'm just like what if something happens to me at night and no one's around what am I gonna do and it's so quiet and I don't have any neighbors yet and it's just like everything feels like it happened at one time then the holidays girl grown at an Played everybody like and hit my family members as well so we didn't really get together well scratch that my mom's side of the family didn't we didn't really get together with them because 
of COVID and it was just like such a different dynamic this year when it came to the holidays that I know everything was just hitting me at one time and it was all like when I look at everything that I was feeling it's all separately just like small things that are you can easily have control over but when they're all happening at one time it feels very overwhelming and that's exactly what happened i think it was perfect timing because of the fact that we just started the new year it was nice to go to see her and just to be like let everything out let her know how i've been feeling and and it's a monday so it's like i was able to really just start off the week on a positive note and start off, start off the year on a positive really light note so that's good but i'm pulling up to costco right now because i want to get some things that i have on my list i think i want to get like a go ahead. i think i want to get like a pie or something because i was going to try to make like an artichoke dip or like a spinach dip but i don't really feel like doing all that so <laughs> I'm probably just gonna see what they have in like the bakery section and just take something from here and maybe like a pastry or something. See what else I, I find here at Costco because they always get me. At Costco, I literally come in and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get something here and there and then I end up spending like $150 every time. So we'll see what I come out with this time. <laughs> at Costco, I ended up just getting a few things. The chicken so I just got a few things that I want to have for the week I also bought um a big round cinnamon roll thing that that's what I'm gonna take to my grandma's house so everybody can just kind of pick at it it's like this big round if you go to Costco you know what I'm talking about it's like this big round cinnamon roll so I got that but I left it in the car because I'm gonna leave soon anyway and then I got rotisserie chicken the Costco rotisserie chicken is so good so I got this so I can put some of it in like a chicken, carrot, potato. What else did I get? Yeah, chicken, carrot, potato soup. I bought chicken broth the other day. And so I wanna use that to just kind of make like a soup that'll be light but filling. So that's what I got that for. I think I'm gonna leave it out for a little bit. And then I actually wish I would have bought that on the day that I actually got it. I also got this big old thing of strawberries so I can cut these up. There's actually a thing that I want to get for the sink. I think I'm going to go maybe maybe to, sometime this week to get it. But it basically adjusts to the size of your sink and you can put your fruit in there to like rinse it and wash it. So I want to do that because I want to start getting back into the habit of having fruit ready to go in the fridge. That way I can just pull it out and eat it and I'm not just like waiting for it to get cut up because then I won't actually eat it. So I also got some already sliced up mango, like this big old thing. And then I got frozen pineapple because I wanted to start adding this into my morning smoothie sometimes. Because sometimes I like to do banana, strawberry cinnamon and i'll add like cacao which is a little bit oh and almond milk so that's a little bit more like smoothie style and more sweet like sweet-ish because of the chocolate and whatnot but then also sometimes i want to do something more light and fruity and so with that i can do water instead of almond milk and do the pineapple do spinach maybe some strawberry just more tropical you know so that's what I got that for. I just want to have kind of like ready to go stuff in the fridge. So I'm not just sitting around like trying to figure out what to eat. 